Our headlines today. Chaotic and inadequate. Inspectors say maternity services at two hospitals in Kent are getting worse after an earlier inquiry found the deaths of 45 babies could have been avoided. An 11-year-old boy is critically ill in hospital after being hit by a police van in Lancashire. Do you know what to do if you get into trouble in the sea or you fall into a, a lake, a river or a canal? The answer, float to live. We'll show you how later in the programme. Good morning. As the cost of the weekly shop continues to go up, the boss of one of the UK's biggest supermarkets denies they're profiting unfairly from rising food prices. Good morning. The title may be cities, but Manchester United can now celebrate Champions League football next season. A thumping win over Chelsea secures their spot in the Premier League's top four with a game to spare. If it meant beating inflation. An 11-year-old boy is in a critical condition after being hit by a police van responding to an emergency call in Lancaster. Analysis by Sky's data team shows that England's GP practices have reached breaking points with one in five having closed their doors in the last 10 years. Newly released FBI documents have revealed that Queen Elizabeth faced a potential assassination threat during a 1983 visit to California. Agents received information that a man was planning to drop an item off the Golden Gate Bridge when the Royal Yacht Britannia was sailing underneath or would attempt to kill the Queen when she visited Yosemite National Park. The file claimed he was seeking revenge after his daughter was killed in Northern Ireland. Now, if you're still not over Eurovision, there is a chance to buy a piece of it forever. Yes, the BBC will auction off more than 60 items, including costumes, props and even parts of the Liverpool stage used in this year's song contest. The memorabilia goes under the hammer on Tuesday. Fire service chiefs are warning e-bike and e-scooter riders to buy them from reputable dealers after an increase in devastating fires caused by battery explosions. Some of those explosions were caught on film and shared by a fire brigade to show exactly how dangerous they can be. South Western Railway announced this week that e-scooters will be banned from next month because of potential fire risks. Great Western Railway and Transport for London have already banned them. They can be a safe, environmentally friendly way of getting about. But as the popularity of e-scooters and e-bikes grows, fire brigades are concerned by the rising number of fires caused by faulty lithium-ion batteries. Let's have a look at uh, some of the front pages in the papers for you right now. Telegraph, featuring a large image of armed police officers surrounding a car after it crashed into the gates of Downing Street. A story we were reporting just a moment ago. Well, the Daily Express carries a pledge from Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, which reads, we must and will cut the number of people moving to the UK. That's after official figures out yesterday showed UK net migration was at a record 606,000 last year. And The Guardian reporting on leaked documents, which reportedly show the government has drawn up plans to deport more than 3,000 asylum seekers every month from January under the provisions of the illegal migration. Migration bill. Moving on to the I, which is reporting that those latest migration figures we mentioned mean Britain is set to overtake France to become Europe's second largest population for the first time ever. Through this morning's front pages, kicking off then with the Metro, which carries Robert Jenrick's warning to universities as visas for foreign students' families double. Now, the Express also leads on migration. It's headlined there, Rishi, I get it, you want migration down. The Eye has the headline, UK population set to overtake France for the first time on record. While the Mirror reads, no control, no compassion, reporting on the record number of immigrants reaching the UK. And the Front of the Sun reads, French rescuers, non merci, as UK-bound migrants snub a lift to France. Meanwhile, The Guardian reports on a Home Secretary's plan to deport 3,000 asylum seekers each month. The Mail focuses on the Just Stop Oil protests at the Chelsea Flowers Show, asking, will anyone stop these eco-clowns? And the Financial Times carries the headline, Ministers look at reshaping pensions lifeboat fund to give boosts to business. The Daily Telegraph focuses on mortgages reporting that rates will shoot up 
and made bond chaos exactly what everyone needs, isn't it? And the Times leads on GPs reporting bonuses if patients take part in clinical trials. And invasion of the monster jellyfish, the star reports, as swarms of giant jellyfish are headed towards the UK. Ooh. Sounds scary. <laughs> and if you want to see any of those front pages again or read the stories, just scan the QR code on your screen.